Chances are you've probably seen a similar experiment where brawlers are given full ammo and their assignment is to deal the most damage possible. And today I applied that concept to all 17 trios so we could see which one is the strongest. Gadgets, supers, and star powers are only permitted if they can increase the damage of the brawler's default attacks. Starting off with the Wild West trio, we have Shelly and Colt who are able to unload their clips into the safe while Spike has to carefully place his attacks. Even though he cannot let all 6 spikes hit, this trio can deal 26,550 damage. Next we have the Shaman tribe who has no abilities to increase their damage, but they're still collectively able to deal 21,060 damage to the safe with all of their attacks. The Retropulse gang started with the safe at 30,000 so that Crow could use the Carrion Crow star power to maximize damage. The Retropolis gang did a total of 21,492 damage. The Junker family had no abilities to increase their damage, but they still had strong attacks as they were able to deal a total of 24,750 damage. Here we have the dreaded arcade trio. 8-Bit's able to drop his damage booster, Rico's able to use Super Bouncy, Brock has a 4th rocket, and 8-Bit gets to use cheat cartridge and they're actually able to melt the save fully. For the Gem Miner trio, Carl is unfortunately limited to one ammo, but he gets to use the Heat Ejector Gadget, which happens to catch the save on fire twice, dealing an additional 2400 damage. However, the Gem Miners were only able to deal 17,160 damage. For the Pirate trio, Tick is able to use Mine Mania three times, and Penny is able to line up a Salty Barrel on the save to maximize damage. Penny's first two attacks were discounted from the total, but the Pirate trio was still able to deal a total of 43,935 damage. For the Undead trio, Frank is able to use a gadget and a star power, Ems is able to use a star power as well, but to no surprise, Mortis cannot do anything to really help the team. However, the Undead trio did do 29,565 damage. Next up, we have the Mexican Entertainers trio, who was lucky because Amber gets to use all 40 of her ammo, and they did a total of 21,900 damage. As for the Townsfolk, all three of them get some type of gadget or star power to increase their output, and they're able to deal a total of 28,296 damage. For the biology team, Rosa does get thorny gloves and B does get a supercharged shot, but they still are only able to put out 15,900 damage to the safe. Next up we have the gift shop, where Colette and Griff both have gadgets to increase the output for each attack, and the trio is altogether able to deal 26,400 damage to the safe. The Mystic Wanderers have nothing that they're able to do to increase their damage per attack, and as a result, they collectively deal only 14,130 damage to the safe. As for the superheroes, Max gets 4 attacks, Meg gets Mechform, and Surge gets a stage 4 split. They're able to deal a total of 32,730 damage. For the Snowtail staff, we decided not to use Mr. P's gadget because it seems like he'd be cheating, but they were still able to deal 17,820 damage. We decided to give all three members of the Star Force trio a supply drop to increase their damage, and Squeak, aside from using a windup for every attack, got one entity for his chain reaction star power. They were able to deal a total of 24,174 damage. Finally, we have the Stunt Show trio who had Bonnie outside of her cannon so she could get three attacks, and they were able to deal a total of 17,190 damage. Here is the leaderboard for the top five trios for this challenge. Anyways, that is all I have for today. Thank you very much for sticking to the end, and I will see you later.